Hey, math students. So um, GED student uh, Rochelle on Facebook had a question about percent decrease problems. So these kinds of problems could show up on your science, social studies, or math test. If they did, you'd always have your trusty TI-30XS calculator uh, to be able to help you work it. So I'm going to use my calculator to do this. But you still have to know what to do. So let's take a look. It says the price of a dozen eggs dropped from $2 to $1.25. What was the percent of decrease? So this idea, percent of decrease, that's what they're asking us to find, percent of decrease, um, is a subcategory of a big idea known as percent change or percent of change. And basically, you know, when you're talking about percents, you're always talking about um, a ratio, a portion. So percent of change is basically t asking the question, um, what percent is the change out of the original amount? It's always a comparison of change to original. Now, there's more than one way to find percents. I'm going to do it um, a simple way when you have a calculator, okay? And the way that I'm going to do it is basically realize that a percent is just a piece out of a total. I'm going to say that again. A percent is just a piece, piece or part out of the word out of in math or the words out of in math can literally be translated divided by. So a piece or a part out of the total. Uh, now, if you're finding percent change, the piece that you're talking about, well, that's the change. And what are we comparing it to? What are we talking out of? Well, we said in our last statement that we were talking out of the original amount. So basically, what you can do is take the amount of the change and divide by the original amount. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go back to our problem. It says the price of a dozen eggs dropped from $2 to a buck twenty-five. Okay, so we know the starting amount, $2. Uh, or original, we would also call that. We know the ending amount, a buck twenty-five. But what we don't know is the change. The ch how much did it change by? If it started at two dollars and ended at a dollar twenty-five, well, change is just a comparison. It's a difference problem. And so, to find the change, if you don't already have it, you are going to subtract. Change is the difference between the starting and ending number. Now, sometimes you're already given the change. It changed by 15 cents. Okay, you already know that amount, but we weren't given it, so we're going to have to find it. So, okay, I'll do that in my TI. $2 minus a buck 25. Well, I don't even need my TI. That's 75 cents. But I promise you, if you plugged it into your TI, that's what you would get. So, I get 75 cents. So that means my change uh, was a 75 cent decrease. My price dropped by 75 cents. Now, what is my original? Remember, we said percent change is asking ourselves what percent is the change out of, so a fraction bar means out of the original. So I need the original amount on the bottom. Well, which one of these numbers was the original? Uh, careful, it's not about bigger or smaller here. It's about first or last. So it dropped from $2 to a buck 25. So this is where we started. So my original is $2. Now you might be saying, well, that looks like really hard math, 0 0.75 divided by two and it would be a little bit of a challenging decimal division problem not too bad but you know if you had to do it by hand but you don't have to do it by hand you may put it in your calculator now be really really careful your calculator has a divide by button this is also a divide by sign the fraction bar so you need to type it into your calculator the exact order you see it it has nothing to do with which number is bigger and which number is smaller i'm going to start with the first number 0 0.75 and then i'm going to divide by the number on the bottom divided by two and i do get this 0 0.375 but i have a warning to you about this number you're not done you found the ratio of the change, but we didn't want just ratio, we wanted percent change. Percent. 
Currently, your answer is not in percent form. It's in decimal form. To convert a percent to a decimal, a lot of you guys know that that's just as simple as multiplying by 100%, which is so super duper easy because when you multiply by 100%, you just move your decimal place once, twice, two zeros, two decimal place movements. Your number will get bigger because we're multiplying, and we see that's 37.5%. But oh my gosh, what if you forget that on your test? You actually have a convert to percent button. Right now in my TI, it currently says 0 0.375. I can convert that to a percent by using the convert to percent button, which is right above the close parentheses button. Notice that it's, it's in green. If you want something in green, you have to hit the second button first. So I'm going to hit second, convert to percent, and then enter. And you will see that even if you forget how to do it, your calculator will tell you that's the same as 37.5%. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.